In this video, I'm going to introduce to you um, some theoretical or a little bit theoretical basic concept of HLM, hierarchical generalized linear models, and some relationship between the other linear models and HLM. Um, so if we have a look at some basic concept in statistics, we have uh, a linear regression. Linear regression, and let's call it. Usually, it's called LM. Uh, it can also be fitted in the LM function in R. And uh, we have generalized linear models. Generalized LM. It's also called GLM, and it can be fitted by the GLM function R. Um, and then and these two are well the fixed effect models basically. And then we have some random effect models. So usually people talk about linear mix model. And it's called LMM. And also generalized LMM, it's also called GLMM. Right, so these two are randomly fast models. So basically, uh, these are the um, most used concepts in statistics uh, as a linear models. And then we have hierarchical generalized linear model. Hierarchical GLM. That's what our package is doing. It's called HGLM. So this HGLM actually belongs to, it should belong to the random effects model series. And what is the difference between them? So if you get another page, if you look at and uh, let's say linear regression to start with. We want to explain some uh, independent variable, sorry, dependent variables or response. Uh, let's call it response. So this guy is what we want to explain. All right. So then we need some covariates. So, we can have some fixed effects to explain such a response variable. And we can also have some random effects To explain the response variable as well. So if we only have fixed effects model, then we will end up with LM or GLM, linear regression or generalized linear model. Right? If you have also random effects in the model, then we can have linear mix model and generalized linear mix model or our HGLM. And the difference is so Start another page. If we write this thing down in some formula format, right? In linear regression or generalized linear model, we are modeling the expectation of the response variable. And this should be a function of some linear predictors, so the betas are fixed effects, x is the design matrix with our data. And if it's a linear regression, we assume the residuals are actually normally distributed. 
if it's generalized linear model, we assume that uh, the distribution of the response variable y can actually change. But in the entire model, we only have fixed effects. Well, if you look at linear mixed model, right? Normal linear mixed model. Usually it's written this way. We have y explained by the fixed facts x beta by the design matrix x. Random effect z times say u plus some residual term e. So when this thing, the residual is normal, then we call this thing a linear mixed model where the random effects are also normally distributed. So this is LMM, right? linear mixed model. To extend this, if we model the expectation of y as a function of such a linear predictor, like that, and allow different distributions for y, then this is a generalized linear mixed model. So we allow uh, more distributions for y. But for generalized linear mixed model, if it's call it mixed model, then this random effect term is still normally distributed. And the difference for HGLM and in HGLM, uh, we're also modeling the expectation of y, right? Is a function of the fixed effects, random effects, like that. But instead of restricting u, the random effects, to be normally distributed, we can also allow some other distributions. So, so u, you, you can say, we can allow arbitrary distributions for u including normal distribution. So if you use the HGLM package that we have now, if you assume U is normal, Y is any other distributions, we can feed GLMM. And if you use normal linear mixed model, assuming Y is also normal, you can feed linear mixed model. So HGLM actually covers all of these popular concept. So this big thing is HGLM and it covers both GLMM and LMM and both can be done in the HGLM package. So that's it. That's the uh, a very simple a little bit theoretical explanation for HGLM and the relationship between the other linear models and the HGLM. So hopefully this clarifies something for you and um, thanks for watching.